Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework tutorial. This is our partner 41. Inside this video, we are going to discuss about group middleware. Inside last video, we had discussed about the complete concept of Laravel middlewares and also discussed about group middleware. So go to the next tab. So inside last video, these are the points we had seen so far and also we had seen that we have three different categories of middlewares. The first is all about global, what we had discussed inside last video. In the next, we have group middleware. So let's say that we have thousands of requests. We don't want to apply global middleware throughout the application. It means we don't want to process thousands of routes through middleware. Instead of that, we want to actually process only 20 of it. So what we will do, we will simply create a 20 routes group and on that group, we will implement our group middleware concept. Go to the next tab. So let's say that we are getting our request from different different countries. Inside these countries list, we are going to allow only for the US and India country. For the rest UK, we are not going to allow, we need to deny that. So let's say that we have few routes. What we want, these routes means these few routes only accessible from these countries. Rest, we are going to restrict that. So here we have route 1, route 2, route 3, route 4 and we are going to apply our middleware concept only on route 3 and route 4. So we are going to apply our middleware concept only this group so it is termed as group middleware. But in the last video what we had created which is going to apply throughout the application so that is called global middleware. Also, in the last video, we had created a middleware called country check. So back to editor, go inside this country check. So first we need to add our logic that we are going to restrict or let's say we are going to only allow US and India to request. So what I will do, let's say if by using this request, we are going to get the country key, what I mean. As we can see that in the URL, we will have this country key. So by the help of request instance, we are going to access this key and its value. So by using this request instance, so request country, if it is set, it means we have some value inside this country key. Next, I will use in array of PHP function, passing this as a first value and in the second the allowed country. So we want to allow the routes only for US and India country. So apart from these countries, if we get requests from any other country, we need to redirect into our no access page. So return, redirect and let's say no access route. So it should be something no access route. So back to web.php, we need to create that and here we have created by using this view method. The first is the route name and the second is the blade template layout. So no access.blade.php we need to create in, inside resources folder and views folder. So back to resources, views and here as we can see that we have created that and inside this file we have access denied message. So now our middleware is ready. Now next we need to register this middleware as a group middleware. So back to kernel.php. Now inside this kernel.php, already we had discussed that the first array is used to register global middlewares. But this is the second array which is used to create our group. Let's have group middlewares. So what I will do, first of all we need to pass our group middleware name. So let's pass a name, let's app and simply let's say restrict. So this is app restrict. Now in the next we need to create an array and inside this we need to pass our class that is country check. So what I will do, simply copy this line, passing it here and instead of encrypt cookies, we have let's say country check. So successfully we have created a group middleware which is going to check 
our country restricted countries and we need to use this app restrict key inside our group route. So first of all, we need to create a group of routes. So back to web.php, as we can see that we have different different routes. So what I will do, let's create some dummy route. So let's route, this is let's say sample one. And inside this, we are going to use anonymous function because for now, we are going to make close our routes. So echo within this S2 tag, this is sample one page. I will copy this code and paste four more times. So this is sample two route, this is sample three, and this is sample four. So this is sample two page. Sorry, it's sample one. It's sample two. Here we have sample three and sample 4. So let's say these are the routes. We want to apply our group middleware concept only on these routes. It means that these routes should be accessible only for the US and India country. But when we open these routes via UK, then we need to restrict the user and load no access page. So how can we create first the group so to create a group route, let's say that route, we have a group method and inside this, what I will do simply passing an array, the first we have the key as middleware and inside this middleware we have an array and inside this array we need to pass our middleware group name. So here we have created inside this kernel.php, this is our middleware group name app restrict copy pasting it here and inside this second we are going to make or create our callback function and inside this I will put this three and four throughout so cutting it here and pasting that So now as we can see that we have sample 1 and sample 2, these all routes run with no restriction. But with this sample 3 and sample 4, we have put our group middleware. It means on these routes, middleware will work and checks that what basically the country is. So if I back here, development server already started. Back to browser, reload this page. If I will try to open let's say sample 1, so simply type sample 1 route, as we can see it is working, sample 2, it is working, again if we pass sample 3, but now inside this case, it is going to check that which country is going to open that. So let's say that when we open this sample 1 using country as a key, so country equals to let's say US, as we can see sample 1 page is running. Also, if I check in, let's say UK, as we know that this is restricted country, but actually we don't have restricted for this route. We have restricted only for sample 3 and sample 4. So if I press enter, it is also working. For sample 2, as we can see, it is working. But in case, if we pass 3, and as we know that the sample 3 route is now protected with this app restrict group middleware. So when we hit enter, it will go with this app restrict inside this kernel.php, it will find this country check class and inside this country check, it is checking that the country what we have passed inside this URL is inside this area or not. So as we can see, UK is not there. So it will go and redirect no access page. So if I hit enter and as we can see that we are on access denied page, again go back, let's say sample 3 and when we pass instead of UK, let's say India, IN and in this case, it is going to return on this sample 3 page as we can see here. Also same if we type sample 4, it is working. Also in case let's say Afghanistan which is not a lot country 
access denied page. So successfully we have now actually bind our group middleware concept with some specific routes. This is not the overall throughout the application. Instead, we have a let's say route group and inside that route group we have implemented our group middleware concept. Let's take a real scenario. Suppose we have an application. Inside that application we have few routes which needs authentication and few routes not need actually authentication. So those routes which needs authentication we will create a group and put inside that and that group will bind with a group middleware and simply that middleware will check that the user is actually authenticated or unauthenticated and if the user is authenticated then authenticated routes will work otherwise it will not going to work. So successfully guys step by step we had discussed all about using global middleware and group middleware. So in the next video we will see that how can we apply our middleware concept only for few specific routes. The difference is that inside this group middleware is that we had created a group means group of routes and we have applied on a group but inside this case we will apply on a specific route. So in the next video we will discuss about routed middleware. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.